You know, many people, you know, say that we got to get out Donald Trump out of the White House because he is a white supremacist. And, you know, look at what he's causing in this country. You know, you didn't like that in your face racism. And I've said before, the in your face racism is actually good because we, now we can have to deal with it head on. But I've, I always, and even Malcolm X talked about this, that liberal racism is more sinister. It's more sinister because they get you to participate in it. For example, notice no black politician can do anything for black people specifically. They have to have an all lives matter message. Now other groups could become leaders in that party and they can speak specifically about their group and their issues, but not the black politicians. The second thing that black politicians can't do on the liberal side is they can't punish white supremacy. Now you look at um, Joe Biden when he was uh, you know, inaugurated, they are mentioning white supremacy. They say they condemn it, but when it comes to punishing white supremacists, that's not what they're gonna do. He has not crafted one executive order against white supremacy. Well, these militia groups that's tied to white supremacy, nothing. He's like, I don't, January 6th, I don't know what happened that day. I'm so blind. Understand what I'm saying? You know, is like I said, left wing, right wing, doesn't matter. It's all the same white supremacist bird. But the reason why I'm talking about this and the reason why I say it's more sinister um, on the left wing side to participate in, because they get black people to participate in black people to really believe that they're part of something big and this coalition and making a difference. But when the rubber meets the road, when the laws are set, when the policies are going on, black people, you know, as the they said on the water boy, oh, we suck again. Now, this story is about black immigrants. And many black immigrants like to come to this country because some of them are asylum seekers, like a lot of them in Haiti, you know, dealing with a lot of issues. Now we understand that when we go back to Haiti, Haiti was fine. Haiti was okay. It was the white supremacists that ruined Haiti. It wasn't the people. It's just like in the continent of Africa. You remember we had covered on a live stream when that, you know, Mzungu man had talked about, they said that we got to keep, you know, sub-Saharan Africa poor in the way it is for our benefit. So you have to understand whether it's black America, it's the black Caribbean, if it is, uh, you know, the continent of Africa, all the author of the problems and confusion is the white supremacists, no matter where they come from. But to get black people to understand that, and it doesn't take much research to figure that out. Now, Jim Crow Joe has been on a deportation um, wave. And you know who he's deporting more of? He's deporting more black immigrants back to the Caribbean nations like Haiti and back to the African continent. Do you realize the last 12 deportation flights have been to black nations? Do you know that? And now a lot of the black immigrants are calling foul on this. Now you had a, a advocacy group, you know, called undocu black and the Haitian bridge Alliance. And they call in the Jim Crow Joe administration out for its silence. They say United States continues to boot black immigrants seeking refuge during a global pandemic. And Jim Crow Joe had to step up to offer them protections. He's not, you're not the preferred immigrant. Do you understand? Listen, whether you from Haiti, whether you from United States of America, whether you from, um, the continent of Africa, he already said what he's trying to do. He's not really trying to legalize you or keep you. He want to keep the Brown people. And let me tell you why he wants to keep the Brown people because he wants to keep them one, because he wants to use them as a worker class. Number two, they have a you know significant amount of them that really want to be white and they'll go join the proud boys and things like that. Right? Number three, the, the next thing, he wants to try to weaponize that group against black people and have black people and, and, and the Latino community constantly fighting against each other. So 
that Jim Crow Joe and his ilk, when they become the minority, they can stay in power. Also, under Jim Crow Joe, if you're paying attention, this was under Trump, all of a sudden this Asian hate crime thing that popped up. I haven't met a single black person I know, or even in my lifetime to say, let's go target some Asian people. Let's go harass Asian people. Anything, the black community has supported the Asian community, supported their businesses. Now I will tell the Asian community this, don't mess up your bag fooling around with Jim Crow Joe. Because let me tell you something, Jim Crow Joe got his money. The black community supports you. The more you keep on having your, your celebrities come out here and saying, oh, it's, it's, it's these hate crimes out here against Asians. The more you keep trying to, you know, brand black people, this one idiot, or wherever he come from, I don't know, this one idiot that committed some crime, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, now in the media, you're branding these black people. Be careful because we're not going to tolerate that because you know we could break you economically. You know we could break you because a lot of your businesses are in our neighborhoods. All it takes is a national galvanizing of our people to say, okay, if you falsely accusing us of harming you, no problem. Then all black people stay out of their businesses so we will never be accused of touching them. You don't get our dollars. You don't get our presence. That's what we'll do. Trust me, you wouldn't want a great reduction from us because them folks not, not out there supporting you like we have supported you for years. You came in our neighborhoods when you first got here. The Mazungu never let you go to theirs. You go into their neighborhoods now, but remember it was the black community that welcomed you into our communities that supported your businesses. So think very careful getting in bed with Jim Crow Joe. It was the only thing that I'm saying. I say that to any community, be very careful trying to demonize the black man and woman of America and trying to say we your enemy because you really don't want us to galvanize against you and pull our money from you because we can do that very, very easily at this point because there's too many of y'all and these other groups that's drinking the Kool-Aid of the, the, the liberal that's trying to stir a lot of uh, stuff up with other groups. If you pay attention to what Jim Crow Joe has said, he said that by 2040, they're going to be in a minority. He's saying we're going to be in trouble. That's what came out of his mouth. Now, if Trump would have said that, you had to be like, oh, he's so freaking, he's a racist. But I guess, you know, Jim Crow Joe can say it and, and nobody going to say anything. Right? Why are you going to be in trouble? Because you're going to become the minority. This is why they always been saying, let's, let's keep the blacks and Hispanics fighting. Let's keep now let's get the Asians and the blacks fighting because if they get everybody fighting against each other, they can stay in power. And for them, it's about power. They do not want to be subjugated to no black folk at all. Or when they want to identify, when they want to lift somebody up, they're going to lift up the black folk like the, uh, the sellouts and the white identified Hispanic and the white identified Asian. That's who they're going to lift up and they're gonna propagandize and use them to stir more beefs. This is what's going on with these people. I'm just paying attention to what they're doing. But always remember, the black community is supporting a whole lot of y'all. So be careful, tread lightly if you don't want your bag gone. Because that's really, that's all it's gonna take. If we pull your bag away and apply that bag back to our community, most of you will crumble on the vine anyway. Always be careful what you're doing. And black immigrants, you seeing how they feel about you too. They deporting you constantly. They deporting you more than anybody else. And you calling it out. They, they are uh, having private charter planes deporting you. They say they have chartered over 1,033 flights on private planes since February 3rd, 2020 is what they said. And they said that the, the, the last 12 have been going to Haiti. See, see, the thing is nothing has changed. See, you thought you was getting rid of a white supremacist in Donald Trump. And have you researched Jim Crow Joe's past? I'm getting y'all showing up on my Twitter page and Instagram. Oh man, I, I just wanted to get Trump out. This guy's just like him in a lot of ways. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't figured that out. But this, but this is the thing. Democrats and Republicans both are horrible. 
why don't folk, folk start really thinking about a third party now? Seriously. Third party, I don't care if it's independent, I don't care if it's Green Party, I don't care, whatever. Black folks create your own party. I don't know. I'm just saying, why don't the people in this country now start thinking they're a third party? You can't complain how about horrible the Republicans and Democrats are, and you have an option to go third party. You have an option. And that's the one thing the two parties are, the main parties are, together on, they don't want a third party option because they're afraid of that. But black immigrants, if you really thought you was not to say all of you think that way, but if you really thought that you were in there with Jim Crow Joe, you're not, you're not in there at all. And they say 64 deportation flights under the, uh, after his inauguration has happened. Of course, you know, Trump had four years of deportations, but 64 deportation flights has happened since Biden's inauguration. And once again, the last 12 was going to Haiti. So in Florida, they trying to round y'all up and get y'all out of there. So with that being said, when I talk about black folks are the same, we in this, in the system of white supremacy, yes, we are all in the same condition. You're black. Sure. You speak French. Sure. You speak Swahili. Sure. You may speak, you know, English. You may speak Spanish. You may speak whatever language you speak and whatever your culture is great. You know, black people are more diverse than any other group in the world. In spite of what Jim Crow Joe says, which was a freaking lie. Black people speak more languages than any other group. Y'all better understand who Jim Crow Joe is, man. That's the only thing I'm trying to tell you, black immigrants. Black Americans, as I stated before, like I said, we, we are your brothers and your sisters. We are not, like, don't let them folks put that in your head, watch them black Americans. Because black Americans, have they chartered any flights to get you out of here? Have we said round up any black immigrants, get them out of here? Have we, have, do we work with ICE? To, to help them get you out? No, we don't do that to you. The same people that tell you watch out for them black Americans is the same people that's rounding you up and getting you out of here. To understand, when you come here, you're coming into the war zone. And you better join with black Americans to learn this system real quick. Because if, you, if you're on your own and you separate yourself, when you separate yourself and they come after you, you can't look at us to help you because you decided to separate yourself away from us. But leave me a comment. Let them know think about the situation, you know, with this deportations under Jim Crow Joe. He's really ramping them up against black immigrants. CBC members are coming out like a representative Mondaire Jones out of New York. And, you know, he, he's, he's upset about it. Want this to stop. Jim Crow Joe ain't stopping. Crap. <laughs> What's the executive order for black folk? That's your answer right there.